Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again another Bama Saltwater Fishing video. If this is your first time here, welcome. I know there's a lot of new subscribers to the channel. That is amazing to see the growth. So this video is brought to you by Frog Talks. You see I am wearing the Primaloft liner here. It is kind of cold. It's kind of overcast for South Alabama. And this sucker right here keeps me warm. And I am wearing these muck boots. Absolutely love these. So y'all can go check out Frog Talks. I'll include a link down below for that website. They have some cool outdoor stuff. And you can save yourself 20% off with promo code BAMA20. That's B-A-M-A-2-0. We're actually out here along the causeway this is an intercoastal waterway it's not a secret fishing out here really cool little area this is salt water so if you hear a bunch of cars coming by it's because this is the main highway but we're after some pretty big fish we're going to be using crabs chunking them out there on some hand tied redfish rigs let me show you what i'm using and we'll get to fishing first things first i am going to be doing set rig fishing so we got to put in some rod holders this ground's pretty tough Let's see if we can get these in there Right here. Oh, well, that went in a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> Got to be careful sometimes. Let's put in the other one. Let's see. Kind of one a little bit further away. Oh, there's a rock. Ooh. That went in a lot easier than I thought it would. Let's go ahead and get rigged up and baited up. So all I have is a Bama Saltwater hand-tied redfish rig. You can get these on BamaSaltwater.com. And these just have a big old 7-0 circle hook and some pretty heavy leader. And then a clip up here. And they're easy to cast, but all you do is clip on a pyramid weight. So we have a 2-ounce pyramid weight and I have a 3-ounce pyramid weight over there, just depending on the current. But really great rig. And then our bait of choice, fresh blue crabs caught right out of these pretty waters of Alabama. So all I'm going to do is cut this crab in half, and that'll be a nice chunk to bait up and see if we can catch some big old monsters today. Now that we have this really nice blue crab chunk, let me show you how I put it on the hook. So we're going to come to this big old beefy circle hook. Check that out. I really like using circle hooks. But all I'm going to do, everybody does this different, but it's just what I like to do. Take this sharp, beefy circle hook, come right here on the tip of this crab, and work it in without cracking the shell too much and you leave that hook point exposed check that out see that is ready to go got this pyramid weight on there let's get that casted out and see if we can catch us a giant out here you never know what you're going to catch out here i want to get this bait as far out as i can because these rocks continue on into the water and you'll get hung up so here we go that rig makes casting really easy that's why I tie it the way I do. So now all I gotta do is loosen that drag so when a big fish takes it, it's not gonna pull the rod holder and the fishing rod into the water. Reeling that slack, and now it's just a waiting game. Hopefully it doesn't take long. But while that's soaking, this is a Daiwa Saltist MQ, and this is a 5,000 size. Have it spooled up with 30 pound braided line on a Star Plasma 2 eight foot heavy action rod. So there we go. Now let's see if we can get what we've all been waiting for. And that's a big old causeway giant. We just hooked a giant. <laughs> I was on my phone looking up some GoPro accessories. And now we just got one. So I'm going to gradually tighten that drag. Put some pressure on it. And that hook should set itself in theory. There we go. That's going to be a fine fight here. <laughs> About a five minute bait set. That didn't take very long. We're gonna have to let it play out. That's what we came here for. Came here to put some big tackle to the test. I'm gonna try to get it in a little closer. I haven't seen it yet. Woo! <laughs> this is fun roadside giant fishing uh, come on oh there it is big old black drum no is that a red nope <laughs> it's a big old big old black drum <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at this joker pull them out of the water to show you and then we're gonna let them go we'll put these frog talk boots to work here not slipping Oh man, he was hooked great. There we 
go. What an amazing fish. She has some nasty growth on the side of this one, but what a big old fish. Check out that blue crab in his mouth. That circle hook, perfect place. Big old big ugly. What's crazy is this fish is probably as old as I am. I'm 26, about to be 27, and this fish is probably maybe 35 to 40 years old. I'm not a biologist, but just from my observations and readings. Really cool. Let's go ahead and get them back in the water since we're not keeping them. But check that tail out. <laughs> Roadside giants. Here we go. We want to make sure he swims off good. You don't just want to toss him back. So we want to make sure this big joker is able to swim back healthy, fight another day. So look at you. <laughs> oh yeah, he's ready to go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Barely out of the water, and he is needs to swim back the other way, buddy. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> swim back the other way. There's a bunch of rocks here, so there you go. Back to the deep you go. Man, what a fun fight! <laughs> that was five minutes, y'all. Five minutes with that blue crab soaking, and uh, already out of breath. That was a fun fight. Those are so cool. It's no secret that they're here, but this is awesome where you don't have to have a boat. You don't have to have any fancy tackle. We pulled right up to the road and about 20 feet from my truck caught a, caught a 25 to 30 pound fish. Those are good when they're smaller and you can keep them that big. There's no limit on them. And I know some people that do eat them, but you know, we're not hurting on food and uh, those can be full of worms and real tough meat, but they are edible, so. I'm gonna get another crab out, just cause, and see if we can get another one. That was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. So, I have another half of that blue crab, and um, we ate a bunch of blue crabs. I caught a bunch, and we ate a bunch. So, these were just a couple that I wanted to save to come out here and actually catch a fish, you know? Just because we're not keeping them eating them, it's still fun to come out and do catch and release with something really big. So, to each their own on that one. But we did eat a bunch of blue crabs, but I saved a couple just to come out here and have some fun. So I'm gonna hook again, same way, just like that. And that big old 70 circle, man. You know, all that right there knocks it out of the park. So let's get that back out and see if we can get something else to pull. Here we go, another blue crab chunk out. Let's cast it out. set this joker in the rod holder Let's see if we can do that again it's a very inexpensive and fun way land-based fishing to catch big fish you don't have to go far to catch them and that's why I'm doing this video just to show you it's fun just because we're not coming out here to catch fish to eat which it is possible to catch some smaller ones that way but that's what it's all about is enjoying the outdoors having fun respecting nature at the same time so if you don't plan on keeping them do like we did take a picture if you want real quick I try to hurry up and get them back and uh, mom is over here fishing too but i think i'm one to know right now huh <laughs> but look she's got her frog togs on i love uh, it the pink frog togs right there i call it quits and <laughs> i'm over here with mom and she's hooked up into one that is awesome you can tighten it up some that's that's pretty heavy braid so and those redfish rigs can typically take some heavy weight well, i've really put them to the test you got it. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that rod bent over. Oh, come on. That was exciting for a quick second. What happened? Here, bring it over. Hey, just, just the hook came out. I guess, uh, I think you put slack in the line a little bit and uh, ended up losing them. So, okay. Well, I went from, uh, he went from hero to zero really quick. <laughs> you want to get another crab on hey it just be like that sometimes it's probably gonna be dark before we hook up again but hopefully y'all can still see i was about to rig mom up again and mine just went off oh there we go <laughs> that's awesome right before dark we were about to call it quits and they finally came back and bait again. I was gonna hook mom up with another crab and I heard that drag go off. Man, this one's pretty heavy. I try not to play with my drag too much. Can y'all hear that? 
Wonder if it's the same fish and it just got hungry again. <laughs> All right. Let's just pull this in here. It's taking me down the bank a little bit, so I'm gonna follow it. Let's go follow that, because the rocks can be kind of hazardous. There's really nowhere to walk that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, hopefully my braid doesn't touch any of these rocks, because if it does, it's gonna go in a heartbeat. Oh, I feel it. That's not good. Okay, they're swimming this way, y'all. <laughs> y'all, if you like catching big fish, this is something you definitely gotta come out here and do. All you need is a fishing rod and some fresh bait. You don't have to have crabs. You can use cut bait, you can use shrimp, but crabs do work pretty dang good. So we're slowly getting this fish to me. Ugh. Luckily that 30 pound braid holds up pretty well. Here he is. It's just another big old black drum, y'all. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Good gracious. Look at this sucker right here. Oh man. That is a dinosaur of a fish. Let me see if I can get down there. My frog tog boots are luckily big enough to, uh, or tall enough, I should be able to get down there. Get him safely released. What a beast. Y'all, that circle hook does its job again. So impressed with how these rigs hold up. Let me, let me pull them up and show you and we'll get them released. Whoa, did y'all hear that? That's why they're called a drum. Can you hear that? That's exactly why they're called a drum. That is so cool. It's a loud one. Look at that mouth and those little tentacles down below that look like worms. Very big old mouth. Wonder how many crabs that sucker has eaten. There's no telling. Huge dinosaur of a fish. Man, this one's bigger than the other one for sure. <laughs> Way bigger. Look at that, I'm not, I can't long arm this fish. This thing has to weigh probably 35 pounds, if I was to say, or more. What a giant. That's what we wanted. See if I can hold my rod up, get a picture, and let him go. <laughs> Sounds like a bass drum, 808. <laughs> Let's let this sucker go, what a big old one. That tail is huge, wow. That is amazing. Can y'all hear that? He's putting on a show. The big ones, when you fight them a long time, they get a bunch of lactic acid build up and you want to make sure they swim away. Look at him. Dinosaur. Come on. There he goes. Back out to the depths. What an awesome catch. Right at the end of the day, it's, it's getting dark. We we're about to call it. I hated that mom lost hers. Maybe we can get out tomorrow and get you one. What you think? We can. Think we can get you out? We got a couple more blue crabs left, so that is fun. What a crazy catch. That sucker was bigger than the first one. Oh man, so cool. I'm either gonna close out this video or we'll see you tomorrow and try to get mom on one. Y'all, so that fishing was pretty slow out there on the canal the uh, second day and rainy, but I cannot complain about those first two drum. Man, those things are so awesome. It doesn't require a lot to get out there and do that. You saw that I just pulled right off the road and caught some giant saltwater fish. Those are so neat. But I am about to go pick up the boat. I didn't have the boat. I have partnered with Safe Floor of Alabama. They had the boat all weekend installing an awesome deck for the boat custom fitted so i'll see it over when we pull into safe floor this is it right here oh my goodness look at that <laughs> that looks awesome it makes the boat just look even bigger the surface area so the cool thing is, is this stuff's actually recycled rubber 
granulates and uh, so they lay it down completely custom to your boat deck and it's extremely extremely durable and easy to clean and that's what i'm looking to their warranty is a lifetime warranty as well which is awesome and they even did the front of the cooler check that out man that's gonna be a game changer this year so frank and will over there they're awesome people got a great company and they got it done really quick so i'm gonna run into one of my favorite stores here i gotta pick up some things but let me show you this deck a little bit more up close we're gonna hop up in the boat oh it feels so good too you know the cool thing about this is that it's gonna be really quiet so i'm clumsy and when i drop stuff on the boat deck in these small creeks making noise can be a big difference between catching fish and not catching fish and this is going to help a lot but i also think it's going to help my back to standing all day but they did the yeti cooler to match the rest of it it looks good it's functional lifetime warranty i will include a frank and wheels over at safe floors information down below in the description if y'all are on the verge and trying to decide if you want to go get some decking on your boat y'all hit them up go let them answer all the questions that you may have about safe floor and decking like this so they'll be linked down in the description below but i appreciate y'all for watching this was really cool to be able to go catch some real big fish while the boats dropped off have it done over the weekend and then be able to pick it up and go back out and go catch some more fish so if you enjoyed videos like this y'all go hit that thumbs up go hit that subscribe button if you are not already it's so cool to see the growth we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers which is absolutely amazing i appreciate each and every one of y'all and if you want to see when new videos come out because i know a lot of y'all want to be first watching which is so cool you can hit that notification bell too so we'll see you on the next bama saltwater fishing video i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later